I did a double take when this came across my feed. Oh, Shimona! I do find it funny that it's harder to hide that you are clearly using a filter the more you apply, like, natural makeup and little tinting to yourself, like doing your eyebrows and things. Like, at least try to keep your eyebrows looking natural so when you do apply your fake filters, it looks somewhat more believable. Even our cat's litter box has unrealistic beauty standards. Her tiny hands allow her to pick out the tiny pieces of chocolate left by the kittens to sprinkle all over her cookies for the local kids. Yum, yum, yum. Instagram fashion model. Ah, uh, the classic. Take a photo just as I'm adjusting something so it looks really candid and natural. To be fair, it is a very effective tactic in photography, allowing you to look as natural as possible in photos until someone tries to Photoshop your abs. She looks like those walking worms from Men in Black 2. No, don't say... <laughs> don't say that. Found this lady on LinkedIn. Her Instagram was also a gold mine. I can't believe I found one in the wild. There are are two alternate paths this person can take in justifying this. Either the industry they work in has a lot of undertones of sexism causing her to feel the need to, you know, really oversell the fact that she is woman. Look at her femininity. You can trust her business because she doesn't have wrinkles. It's not that I want to do this, but it's the only way to get those sexist older male clients who have all the money to hire me. Or she is just oh, so unfortunately insecure about her looks that otherwise are clear there. Clearly she has the face shape that is just it. You don't need to do any more effort. You don't need these filters. You're fine as you are. But hey, why encourage that sort of thinking? <laughs> this subreddit wouldn't exist otherwise. Weird to brag about your youthful looks when your face is blurred to oblivion. 35 year old me thinking about <laughs> dating girls who I'm clearly too old for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the tongue thing right now. <laughs> He's 35, and I reckon he tries to act like a Gen Z. Which, okay, you know, you can call cringe, but let's be real. There are people who are young and stupid enough to think this is hot and cool. <laughs> that he wouldn't be doing this if, otherwise, if it wasn't getting some results. Influencer shows how her foundation looks without filters. What? What? How are we supposed to know how it works if you don't completely overshadow it with a digital filter? Filter. Now, I might be completely wrong about this, but is that not a filter if that shading looks completely different to the final product? I mean, I see pores. I see natural skin there, so it's hard to tell. Someone got paid to professionally edit this movie poster. Oh. Oh, oh, this is some uncanny valley territory. Look at each face, and they all just seem right, but not right. Like, there is some subtle demon inhabiting their, uh, the, <laughs> the husk that is their human body. I would not be surprised if they just outlined the faces and went onto the Photoshop's newest AI generate feature and was just like, um, make prettier. Found on Pinterest. This one made me laugh. By using our special skincare, you will go from before with all the disgusting pores in your skin designed to help it breathe and be an actual safe and healthy organ. No, gross. To this, the ideal human looking like some goopy slime. It's so natural, as in how you naturally will select the blur tool when editing your photos. I'm sure that poreless, blurry skin is genetics for the 23-year-old born in 1985. Me realizing that the kids born in 2000 are 23, but I'm born in 1985, and I'm looking 23. <laughs> wow, you're right, Mom. It's amazing how you can look so young through the power of digital film. Filters. There's a filter where you can have Shrek behind you. Doesn't mean I'm dating Shrek now. If you tap the screen, he gives you a kiss. Daily reminder, this is filtered. This is no filter. So please remember when you see these cliche gorgeous and pretty people on social media that you don't compare yourself to airbrushed images, you freaking idiot. God, you're so stupid. Ah, oh, this is so refreshing to hear. Thank you for saying this about beauty. Person who is clearly beautiful enough that they only need to apply some light foundation to be considered very beautiful. You solved all the issues that less attractive people deal with, such as less likely to get hired or to be talked to in a social environment. Huzzah! Okay, I'm being a negative Nancy. It's a good message, okay? After all, it's trying to highlight more things like this. Look at that perfect lipstick, the lighting on her face. Oh, she's got perfect 
complexion. And oops, oops, someone knocked the lighting on the other side. Uh oh, oh no, oh, there's shadows there. Oopsie. Let this image be a great example as to the power of lighting. Meanwhile, this image is a great example to the. Uh, what, how? What? <laughs> how did her hair get yellower? I mean, the lips don't even look the same either. Maybe it's just more pixelated or something? How did you create the perfect example of me trying to copy the smart kid's homework? Now, this one's gonna blow the mind of a lot of guys who use Tinder, so uh, gents, make sure you're sitting down for this one. Edited body. My real relaxed body. Uh, what? Her hips? Where did her hips go? No! <laughs> yes, you can always tell when someone is faking their waist because they are arching their butt back and also their shoulders back too. Like, you notice how back the shoulders are compared to the second image? Their spine's doing more of a question mark in the edited photo. But personally, I don't think this is as bad as filtered photos. Because in real life, you can recreate that pose. Like if someone walked up to you and said, Hey, do what you did in this image, you could do it. It's when you start applying the Photoshop stuff where it's like, okay, you're being a fake. But hey, I'm open to your opinions. If you think this counts as, you know, being a bit of a shady practice in the influencer economy, do you think people who pose to make their body shape look better are like cheaters and liars? You know, let me know what you think down below. Came across this person on someone's podcast. Her facial structure looks completely different in the recorded videos versus her own Instagram posts. Hi, it's me, blonde girl with makeup. I stole the denim jeans of my last boyfriend and turned it into a crop top. And you look at it and you think, hey, that looks pretty good, but that's only because I'm a hot person wearing it. If we photoshopped Damien in this instead, then we- Oh no, wait, no, it looks even better now. Oh no. Okay, enough shaming denim so it doesn't come back as anything more than pants and jackets. You wanna see who this woman truly looks like? What, what she's trying to escape from and hide from you? This. Oh man, gross. Look, look, look how disgusting she looks. Just ew with that, with that facial structure. Oh man, oh, I'm glad she was hiding it. She always has a V-shaped face on Instagram instead of her beautiful round face. Yeah, I do have to feel somewhat sorry for Selena Gomez about this. I can agree to the OP here, but I can also understand why Selena probably does this because unlike the 99% of other people on this subreddit, she's actually someone famous and actually has comments made about her all the so time. I'm gonna say I think she gets a pass. That said, those lips look weirdly tiny for her face, so... <laughs> Moving on. Girls in the comments are asking what her routine is. When someone says I need school, but I'm literally planning on being the next Bella Hadid. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your dining room table is not nepotism enough for you to reach such levels of fame. But hey, if you put in as much effort into working your future career as you do researching how to create filter effects on TikTok that makes your waist look believable, then, you know, you... you yeah, you try that. Go, you see how it goes. <laughs> the caption, No Shame Selfie Sunday. Sure, there may be no definition between where my clavicle starts and whether or not I even have a jawline. But I have no shame in expressing myself. This is the real raw me and all my painted eyes glory. I think it's safe to say it is definitely edited. Here we go, we've got someone with a flattering outfit dressed to impress, with a facial pose that looks like someone lacking any sort of intelligence in that skull. I only say that because that face makes me think of a doll, just a, a plastic toy with no thoughts or cognition whatsoever. I'd encourage these people to smile more in their photos, but uh, no, men have ruined that compliment. But anyway, hey you woman with your hairstyle where it looks like your hair goes behind but also in front of your hair? What? Let's see the real you. Ah, see now there's a human expression. I can see that you look a bit frustrated at having to take all these photos. Can we just go inside now, please? There's humanity there. there there's a real person I can see. Beautiful work. Well done, ladies. Go inside and enjoy the aircon. Someone commented, how do you always look so naturally beautiful? <laughs> and I have nothing to say. <laughs> it's, it's that look. Okay, you know how I said earlier about sometimes people just need to smile a bit more in their photos so they look more human? I take that back. <laughs> I'm, I'm so wrong. I can technically make this comment about them because that's definitely not their real faces, but they look like they always chase after the guy the other one is interested in. Found on the Instagram account of a girl I knew in high school. Oh, looky here. It's a puppet. I don't know why, but it just when I see lips that big, I can't help but think they're just some sort of sock puppet. She's pretty tactful here, though. By putting a bit of shade on her face, it makes it 
it harder to notice the discrepancies in her skin looking so unnaturally smooth. It's not a filter. It's just because I'm under some shades. You can't see the definitions of my skin as much. Filter glitch on teeth. Uh, screenshots from a video. Is it a filter? Or is this Tom Cruise's secret daughter? Seriously, look it up. Tom Cruise's teeth aren't actually aligned with his face. Never believe what you see on Instagram. Why even make the effort, though? Look at this. The oh, no. There's some natural pores on your skin. How disgusting. Better get rid of them. Is she supposed to look like the eldest Thornberry daughter? Oh, my God, she does. <laughs> I can see that now. Oh, Dad, you don't understand me. Ugh. Holy chow. Hello there, face in fire. <laughs> I know it's hair, but it looks like fire. Lovely, totally natural selfie you got there. Let's learn more about you. Love being told I'm photoshopped. Best freaking compliment ever. Well, it's nice to be honest about your Photoshop skills, as long as you're being honest about applying them. However, no. if I were photoshopped, no, no. I'd not be photoshopping this face. No. I'd be a Kardashian or Angelina Jolie. Your eyes are clearly enlarged. I'd not be me. That's 100. I definitely don't like myself that much. Your nose is literally crooked from photoshopping. This influencer is starting to use Photoshop. Influencer mistake 101. Assuming people actually naturally have this smooth of skin. Now, not gonna lie, I do feel kind of bad for her regardless because of all the photos out there of her, they chose to use this one as the reality. I mean, seriously, when she's wearing what seems to be some sort of like head bob bib thing, what, what is that? Sigh, another unrealistic beauty standard. Best eyeliner color for blue eyes. Look. So, you no, know, they're real. They're real. I just have my eyelashes inside my eye. The girl that my cousin swears is real, natural, and into him. Hello, cute boy. Yes, I am girl. Girl attracted. <laughs> you so funny. Tell me, what is crypto? Why? What crypto? Oh, you're so smart. You are smart. So cute, smarty. Can't wait to see you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't afford. Oh, no. Car broke down. No money. You send money. Send money. I can see you if you send money. I am real girl with boob. You like boob? Yes. Send money. I mean, come on, dude. She doesn't even have the same nose in each photo. Person talks about the power of Botox and looking younger than she is while using a skin filter. I love whenever I tell anyone that I get Botox, they're like, you don't need Botox. I'm like, that means it's working, babes. And yet you're still resorting to using a skin filter. I don't know how you could be so proud to boast about it if you still have to hide behind the digital filters. Make way for Thunder's eyes. Bad. she looks mad. Well, I would be too. She probably can't even find pants that fit and has to go without. All I could wear right are leotards. I don't even like the ballet. Former Miss America is just so gorgeous. I feel like it should be a compliment that I can't, I don't know who, who it is. <laughs> Which one? Congrats, ladies. Your natural beauty makes me think it could be either one of you. See, gentlemen, that's how you come across as heartwarming and you know, complimentary, despite being a total idiot and not actually knowing the correct answer. Local bar face tunes employees on social media. So here we are, a local kids daycare center's uh, social media push. Here we have some natural looking women. But hey, the last thing we want is for people to look natural on the internet. So let's just fix that. Ha bam Yeah, no more extremely minuscule and subtle double chin on these ladies. Yeah, nah, if we showed that to exist at all, then you know, these women would be disgusting and men would never want to go near them. Honestly, it is very impressive how well they've done to make these people look completely different, but also not. I can only imagine the skills this person has with their own Tinder profile. On another important note, those outfits look so uncomfortable. Oh my god. God. Yeah, imagine having that as your uniform while on your period. Imagine actually wearing that for a full shift. Oh God, dealing with drunk men, cleaning up spills. Fake tattoo and waist. She has so many followers who think her body is real. I'm not gonna lie, that tattoo looks pretty good for a fake Photoshop. 
Okay, this is Jack five minutes into the future after making that previous comment. I was really curious what to reaffirm as fake in this photo, so I did some snooping to find the original post. And oh man, are some people real sleuths. The main thing, this is arguably extremely AI edited. For one, awfully convenient that it's pitch black behind her waist there on the left side. Yet man's hand on the right waist seems to fit perfectly on a round shape, as if there isn't any sort of hip dip whatsoever. Also, the bracelet, specifically the ones on her forearm. Notice how the middle bracelet looks like it's cutting off blood circulation by how much it's pressed into the skin, and yet on the side of the forearm, there's space. There's a gap. Something a bracelet shouldn't be able to leave if it's digging into your skin like that. And then we come to the pants. Now, it's hard to explain this because there's two other photos that's meant to come with this post, but unfortunately they are too babooby for us to show on YouTube. But it's so funny because she's wearing the exact same bottoms in the second photo, but it's all of a sudden a skirt. And the Lord sticker thing there has disappeared. The belt string also never existed. And when I mean skirt, I mean like a long skirt, like as if it's been pants that someone's just blurred the middle. Yeah, wow, this is totally fake. But for people not trying to look out for those things, this is honestly really impressive and well done. A reminder not to compare how you look in unflattering lighting to Instagram models in perfect lighting and editing. Look, she does still look good, though. Hey, look at me. I'm in the daylight. Yeah, perfect lighting, perfect skin tone. Whoopa, here is me with two big happy faces under the artificial light. Wow, look at that. My waist and hips are suddenly not as curved, almost as if I'm no longer sticking my butt out in the background. Oh, and look at that. You still think I'm attractive. Wow, who would have thought? I'll make Nana look younger by doing her hair. I told Nana I'll make her look younger. She didn't believe me until... Wow, incredible. I certainly love how in the second photo she suddenly grew more wrinkles, and then in the third and fourth photo those wrinkles disappeared. Who does this woman think she is telling Jesus to take pickup trucks? Influencer and model. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I... I'm trying my best to avoid, like, body shaming people who are doing these sort of things. But this is... This... No. No, this one needs the shame. You look stupid. Your body doesn't look like that. You would... Uh, what the hell is it? What, the more you look at it, the worse it gets. You can't tell me this person thinks this is convincing. What do you mean? That's totally a real natural girl there. Look how natural and real they are as a girl. Not at all trying to appease to the Japanese market of men who desperately want a white little e-girl. No pandering to the desperate otaku market there whatsoever. No, no, no. There ain't no way. Found on Vinted. So I can concur a body shape like this does exist out there. Maybe not with such a ridiculous difference in the size of the waist, but you know, it, it exists. But I mean, realistically, you'd have to either have abs there if your stomach is that naturally flat, or there would be an obvious shape of bone structure, you know, like you're really skinny. Here there isn't. The abs just disappear halfway down the waist. Oh, conveniently where you've done a sudden curvature of your shape. That said, unless this person is some influencer trying to sell a product to people, I don't think they deserve much criticism for it. You do whatever you want with your body on the internet. Though I will say, at least be interesting with it. You make your whole self purple, or made out of jelly beans. I don't know, something fun. If you're gonna Photoshop, you know, it'd be interesting about it. Why hasn't anyone told her? Her bake is just awful. Hey, some women aspire to look beautiful, and some women aspire to look like clowns. And if she wants to look like a clown, she's very much allowed to. Yeah, don't let her, don't crush her dreams. I mean, seriously, she's getting a bit out of control with the filters in Photoshop. No, oh, what are you talking about? Now, this one's an exception. They are clearly the exact... Ah, ah, ah. They are clearly the exact same image. What? Don't believe me? Well, here, have a look at the third... Ah, ah, ah. See, they are clearly the exact same people. What have they done to him? Well, by the look of those shoulders, he's been attacked by some suction cups. But don't worry, his body should return to normal soon. Ah, there we are. Still clearly muscularly fit, only without the attempt to cosplay Knuckles from Sonic Forces. Magazine's 50th anniversary cover. Wow, a silicone doll with a pink tablecloth all around it. Now here's the thing, if this industry acknowledged and was just upfront and honest about clearly digitizing products and looks, I could totally be fine 
wrong with this? I could see this as just a, an artistic expression. But the current state is that they try to keep assuring you that no, this is natural and real. This is real beauty. No, it isn't. No, that's a, <laughs> that's a toy doll. I don't think you're beautiful. I think a child has lost their toy.